buddy. It's Andrea. It is a lovely October day, Thursday, here in Pennsylvania. And I just dropped my youngest son off at work. So I am on my way back home. I have a little bit of a headache because I didn't I haven't had my coffee yet today. So I've been doing a lot of driving today and there's like road work on one of the roads and something plastic in the street up here. Anyway, yesterday was my birthday and my oldest son and his boyfriend Dave came over for dinner and they got me a nice card and <laughs> a box of candy bars. <laughs> And my husband made me um, burritos for dinner, which I love burritos. And well, there was burritos and rice and corn, black beans, refried beans, just all kinds of stuff. And then for dessert, my husband had baked a cake for me from scratch, which I think it might have been the first cake he's ever baked from scratch. Was a it was a chocolate cake, but he used he used coffee for the liquid, so I guess it gives it a little bit of a mocha flavor. To me, it just made it taste like a lighter chocolate cake, but it's it's good. Of course, more than half of it is still sitting at home. <laughs> uh, so they apparently yesterday let the released the, what do you call it, the files from the JFK assassination. I've only read a little bit about it. I haven't read the actual files because that would take a while. But the only thing I've seen so far is about that there were like two, two phone calls warning them about it and I don't know, just a bunch of stuff like that. I don't know what to think about all that stuff or why why would some of the agencies not want some of it released now when it's how old is it? It was in the 60s. So I don't know. I wrote this paper in high school. <laughs> it was I can't remember what class it was. Actually, I don't remember if it was high school or college. But they wanted us to write something where we gave our opinion about something, about an event that happened. And, you know, use logic and examples for why we thought a certain way or whatever. And I, I put that, um, I did this one about that the way that uh, President Kennedy was shot, he was, his, the bullet entered the front of his head and uh, went out the back of his head and the back of his skull went, you know, behind him. And I wrote that the angle of the shot and, and where the vehicle was on the street, that it would be impossible for Lee Harvey Oswald to have um, shot that, made that shot from the books of, book depository. So, I know there's like, I don't know if the theory of the magic bullet has to do with that or the fact that they think one bullet went through three different things or something. I don't remember. But anyway, I, I wrote a paper about that and I gave my reasons and it all had to do with, basically it had to do with physics and mathematics, you know. And uh, I wasn't specifically saying that Lee Harvey Oswald didn't shoot or kill um, the president, which obviously, I, I, like, I didn't outright say that, but obviously that's what the paper was saying. <laughs> but I was saying that the shot that they showed, the way that they showed what occurred and, and what was revealed in the um, Zapruder films, and then from diagrams of 
where he was in the even with the location even if he was on the ground floor of the book suppository, book suppository the book repository he couldn't have made the shot that killed uh president kennedy <laughs> anyway i got an f for that paper because my teacher wrote everybody knows that lee harvey oswald <laughs> killed um President Kennedy. So that's that's what you get for trying to think for yourself. There, boys and girls. I don't know. I guess if you have a good enough teacher, they're like, okay. Like it was supposed to be about. It wasn't supposed to be about whether the. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. The assignment wasn't supposed to be about proving something right or wrong. Nothing like that. It was supposed to be using, you know, you analyzing the situation and you could pick whatever you wanted to pick and you coming to your own conclusions and I think I did that, you know, I think I fulfilled that uh, task that was put forth so I didn't think I deserved an F but whatever. I've also had an English teacher, I had an English professor in college where I wrote a paper and the professor wrote on my paper you are a very bad person, or you're, you are a terrible person. That's what they wrote. I don't remember what I wrote. I think it was a story, a short story or something. But, uh, I don't know why I'm saying all this stuff. I think some people don't like it when you think for yourself, honestly. Everything has to fit into some pre-made mold that everybody already accepts, it seems like. In order for you to be popular, or for, your, for you to fit in, and I've just never been one of those people that just fits in, you know? I mean, I dress like I fit in. <laughs> That's my camouflage. But I just think the way I think. That's just, you know? You got a brain. You have a brain. Use it to the best of your ability. That's what I say. It's a wonderful thing. So some of the trees are finally turning red and, and orange and stuff here. There's still a, most of them are still green. But I hope they turn color more soon. I don't know. You know, I was watching somebody else's video. I was watching, um, Peter, Peter vlogs, Peter's, anyway, it's Peter Mon, he does a vlog, and he was talking about, he lives in Indianapolis, which I guess he means Indianapolis, Indiana, there's, there's at least one other Indianapolis, but, he lives in Indianapolis, and he was talking about the Halloween events that are available around there, and there's like, there's like uh, some charity events. He went to a charity event that was supposed to be a seance, but it ended up being, um, there were some psychics that uh, read for people, you know, like said, oh, somebody's here, somebody's speaking to me or whatever. But he said that he really, the part he enjoyed was he liked the ambiance, the decor and stuff and the little sandwiches. And, and then he said there's neighborhoods that, he showed one of the neighborhoods where they kind of, they kind of decorate everything in a spooky, kind of like a, an old fashioned spooky way. Not the stuff with the pumpkins and, and skeletons and stuff, but, but they'll have things that look like ghosts and things up in the trees and stuff. And that he said one part of the town used to have, unless, unless I'm mistaking this part, he might've been talking about a different town, but he said one, one neighborhood used to have a, um, a sleepy hollow event where like all night the town area or the town was would be dressed up for like it would be decorated for to look like sleepy hollow the legend of sleepy hollow and there'd be a headless horseman running through the streets and just stuff like that and then there's like all these halloween festivals that go on there and uh so I looked up Halloween festivals for near me. The only stuff near me is like haunted attractions. I can't go to these haunted attractions because you have to do a lot of walking. Or, or even if it's just a hayride one, they have the flashing lights. And I'm not supposed to be, I'm not supposed to be around flashing lights 
went because of my seizures. And you can't just close your eyes. Like, you have to put your hands over your eyes because the, the light shows through your eyelids. It's <laughs> anyway, I just thought, wouldn't it be fun to have some kind of old-fashioned Halloween-type thing? I'm not, obviously I'm not going to do one this year, but it would be nice if there was like a neighborhood old-fashioned type Halloween thing, like maybe people carve pumpkins and they have candied apples or there's like a, a ghost walk where you walk through town and somebody's telling you ghost stories or, or you're sitting, oh, you're sitting around a fire, you're sitting around a, a bonfire or something and somebody's telling ghost stories. That would be nice have some hot apple cider and just make it feel more old-fashioned and homey. I think I would like that. I think, well, I used to go to this Halloween party that uh, my son, my old, no, my middle son's best friend, his mom used to throw a party at Halloween. She and I used to do Cub Scouts together. We were she was the den mother and I was the assistant den mother. And uh, all the kids would go over there and they'd be dressed up and then we'd have pizza or something and people would bring food and drinks and stuff. And then the kids would go out trick or treating <laughs> and uh, she'd have some bottles of wine and stuff. I can't drink, so. Except for that one time when when I was in Oktoberfest and I, my doctor said I could drink, but yeah, I don't, I don't normally drink. Well, I'll probably be back in a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm back. And I wanted to say, I wanted to show you the stuff I got for my birthday. So I got, look at this lovely card. I got that from my son and his boyfriend. And there's like a little pick here. I guess I could have put that in the cake but it's a little plastic pick, it's so cute. <laughs> and then, oops, it's falling over. Ah, it's like they're falling. Hold on. And this card I got from my mother-in-law. Look how pretty that is. The butterfly. And I got this card from my husband's grandmother. Would you say grandmother-in-law? I don't know. <laughs> I love when they have this little matching, uh, what do you call it? Like a little flower on the back that matches the front. I think that's fun. <laughs> so, and then my sister called me, my sister and her two sons, and they were singing happy birthday to me on the phone. And my friend Dave, he kind of did a little video, I guess when he had time during his work break yesterday, and he sent that to me where he was singing happy birthday. And of course my husband made a lovely dinner for me. And here's what's left of the cake. Here's, here's one side of it. And oh, the frosting's coming off. And there's the other side. It's chocolate. Well, it's chocolate with um, also has coffee in it, but yeah, there was a little more than that, but I had another piece today because it's for my birthday. I get to have another piece. So there's that. I don't know if I said this already, but last night I wanted to watch a, uh, oops. I've been wanting to watch Halloween, the original Halloween that came out in like 70, I think it came out in like 78 or something. But I can't find it anywhere without having to pay for it. So I watched Halloween H2O last night, which I've seen before. But um, I don't know why I just find I just find those old those old um, horror movies kind of fun to watch, just kind of silly. I don't watch them a lot, but I love and I love Jamie Lee Curtis, and she's in the, that movie. And <clears throat> my oldest son's like picking on Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm like, listen. She is her own person. Look at her. She breaks the mold. She keeps her hair short. She she doesn't fit into any female stereotypes. She's a good actress. I just really enjoy watching her and stuff. You know, I just feel like she's an original, you know. Plus, I wish I could wear my hair that short, but when my hair is short, it starts 
sticking out in different directions. Maybe I'll show you an old photo of one time that I cut my hair short and you can see what I mean. It'll look like I had a buzz cut, but it's, but it's like that long. My hair's like, in the picture, it's like that long. So, like right to here, but it's all sticking up. Because I'm part Italian and my hair, the shorter my hair gets, the wavier it is. So, it's just kind of crazy. So, today's Friday and I've been really busy today and I really don't know what we're doing for dinner so we'll have to see but I hope everybody's having a good day and I'll talk to you soon bye